could get it out. You drive them out. For now, four-year-old Rachel Harrison is back with her parents. She belongs with her mother and her father. But if Children's Protective Services has its way, Rachel's 28-year-old father, David, and her 24-year-old mother, Christina, will not be her legal guardians. CPS wants her to be adopted by non-relatives. If it was up to them, absolutely. they take her away in a heartbeat. You're probably thinking David and Christina must have done something really awful to their little girl for CPS to spend almost a year trying to terminate their parental rights. And they actually testified in the first hearing that Rachel was never neglected, never abused, and she was a happy, healthy child. Neither parent has been convicted of a felony. So then why is the state agency so hell-bent on stripping this couple of their parental rights? I went to the hospital to get my appendix out and tested positive for cocaine. Did you test positive too, David? Yes. Even though CPS has offered no evidence in court that Rachel was ever harmed by her parents' prior drug use, just the fact that they've done drugs is enough for CPS to say they should not be parents. Why are we all doing drugs? Just recreational use, out with friends, you know, holidays, an occasion. Never did it with Rachel around. Last July, CPS took custody of Rachel. Well, at first, we didn't see her for three or four months. They refused visitations. When they finally got supervised visits with Rachel, family members say they couldn't believe their eyes. You might not either. Check this out. Here's a picture of Rachel that was taken one week before CPS took custody of her. Here she is in January after six months in CPS's care. When I was seeing her in foster care, it, it was killing me. Well, every time we'd go to see her at visitation, she, skinnier. she would get skinny and she'd, you know, just be lethargic, not wanting to move, not wanting to say hi, and just sort of sit in the corner and just keep to herself. Not even play. And that's not her. She would be drooling at the mouth, her tongue would be hanging out, she couldn't focus. It, it, it was terrible. And I asked them, I said, is she on drugs? They said no. But in a January court hearing, CPS admitted that the then three-year-old was put on a number of psychotropic drugs, including risperidone, a drug commonly used to treat schizophrenia. They take her away from you because they say you all were doing drugs. Then they take a three-year-old and they put her on drugs. Yes. What do you think about that? I think no three-year-old needs to be put on psychotropic drugs. None of them are psychotic. According to court transcripts, there seems to be a question as to which CPS contracted doctor prescribed all the medications and why. Caseworkers have testified they had to place Rachel in various foster homes because she would act up. She acted up, her parents say, because she wanted to be home with them. The only way to control her at that time is to dope her up. While most judges seem to just rubber stamp the wishes of CPS, Associate Judge Stephen Newhouse is the complete opposite. We were in the courtroom for two recent hearings and the judge didn't even try to hide his frustration. In one hearing, the judge said, quote, there's no evidence the child had any behavioral issues before CPS came into her life. As soon as CPS takes her, now she needs help. In the hearings we attended, CPS suddenly changed caseworkers. So no caseworker knows what the other caseworker's doing. Whenever the judge would ask caseworkers specific questions, he would get the same response such as, I'm new to the case, or I don't have access to the file. A clearly frustrated Newhouse even asked a caseworker and her supervisor, quote, what's more harmful, sitting on this child's needs or the parents alleged drug use. Got it. You gotta throw it. So why is CPS so adamant about taking this little girl away from her family? I suspect that this is a vendetta basically against me from exposing them back in 2007. That's when Debbie yeah. Flores first contacted Fox 26 Investigates. CPS took Rachel from Christina soon after her birth because mom tested positive for marijuana. This home video we originally aired in 2007 documents a horrifying case of diaper rash Rachel had while in foster care. Oh my goodness, that is, that is a bad. bad diaper rash. During a CPS supervised visitation, not one but two CPS caseworkers look at the baby's awful condition, 
but neither decide to seek immediate medical attention. A big mistake CPS later admitted to making. And when a parent messes up, you call CPS. Who do you call when CPS messes up? There's nothing you can do. According to court testimony, David and Christina have both tested negative for drugs for many months now, and they've done everything CPS has requested of them. For that reason, the judge gave Rachel back to them. Still, CPS plans to file suit in order to terminate their parental rights. The assistant county attorney representing CPS doesn't want to discuss it with us. Can you tell us what, why they would want to terminate the parental rights? I'm not making any comments. CPS has determined that they want to terminate the parental rights. I have no correct? comment at this time and I don't know that answer. We're talking about terminating someone's parental rights. You don't want to at least explain this or this tell time. us what happened? Not this time, sir. You've kind of paid a huge price for your recreational drug use, haven't you? Yes. Big time. Big time. But Rachel is the one that has paid dearly. The very one they're supposed to be protecting. This couple's advice to other young parents who use recreational drugs? Stop. Stop. Don't do them. It's, it's not, not worth, worth it. it. It's not worth it. It's a chance to lose your kid. These parents won't know for at least a month if they're going to lose their little girl for good. We'll let you know what happens. Randy Wallace, Fox 26, Investigates.